This is a case presentation of a new surgical technique, robotic ureteroplasty with buccal mucosa graft interposition for complex ureteral stricture. The patient is a 24-year-old female with iatrogenic left proximal ureteral stricture after ureteroscopy at an outside hospital. The patient presented with flank pain and fever after stent removal. CT demonstrated severe hydronephrosis and concentric periureteral thickening. Nephrostogram and retrograde pilogram demonstrated a 6 centimeter proximal ureteral stricture. She was counseled regarding treatment options and success rates. She wished to proceed with buccal mucosa graft ureteroplasty. Significant morbidity and complications associated with reconstruction of complex upper ureter strictures by ileal interposition or autotransplantation has led to interest in a novel interposition technique, applying buccal mucosa graft, which is widely used for surgical management of urethral strictures. A review of the current literature on this new reconstructive technique yields several case reports of an open procedure with promising results in terms of procedure success and morbidity. We now apply a minimally invasive approach with robotic assistance to this new procedure. The patient was placed in a modified right lateral decubitus lithotomy position, which allows for bladder access. The port placement was similar to that for pyeloplasty. The endotracheal tube was secured down on the right side of the mouth and the mouth was draped separately from the abdominal field in preparation for buccal mucosa harvest. The procedure was begun like a pyeloplasty. The colon was medialized and gerota's fascia opened. The ureter was identified and dense fibrotic reaction was noted. The ureter was meticulously dissected out with Potts scissors using the ureteral lysis technique we have previously described. The dissection of fibrotic periureteral plaque extended down to healthy appearing tissue Significant tissue edema and inflammation were encountered, consistent with phlegmon. Inflamed tissue and fibrotic plaques were excised and sent to pathology. Tissue was ultimately benign. The ureter was fully exposed from the renal pelvis to the iliac vessels. Flexible ureteroscopy was performed to aid in identification of the diseased segment. The stricture was several centimeters in length, and flexible ureteroscope met significant resistance at the stricture. The light of the ureteroscope marked the distal margin and was clearly visualized with the near-infrared fluorescence imaging. A stay suture was placed to assist with retraction. Indocyanine green dye was injected, and fluorescence imaging was again used to confirm the proximal margin of healthy tissue on the renal pelvis. Next, the ureter was sharply incised and spatulated on its dorsal surface. We mobilized a flap of omentum to provide a vascular bed for the buccal graft. The omental flap was sutured onto the psoas muscle under the ureter in preparation for a dorsal onlay of the buccal graft. The buccal harvest was performed simultaneously in the standard fashion on the left cheek. Silk sutures were placed to retract the cheek superiorly. Lidocaine with epinephrine was injected under the mucosa for hydrodissection. Mucosa was dissected free of the buccinator muscle with tenotomy scissors and the graft size was tailored to approximately 7 centimeters in length and 1 centimeter wide. Care was taken to avoid stents and stucked. The graft was defatted and stored in saline. The graft was introduced into the abdomen and anastomosed to the ureter in a dorsal onlay fashion. Interrupted sutures of vicryl were used to secure the graft at the ends of the ureterotomy. The graft was then sutured to the edges of the ureterotomy in a running fashion. Using the same running suture, the graft was also approximated to the omentum. With the anastomosis complete, the flexible ureteroscope passed easily and minimal leak was detected from the pressurized irrigation. A double J stent was advanced into the left kidney. The omentum was then wrapped around the anastomosis and a periureteral Jackson Pratt drain was placed. The patient had an uncomplicated postoperative course. The drain was removed and she was discharged on postoperative day three with Foley catheter. 
The foley was removed after two weeks and the stent after six weeks. The follow-up ultrasound at two months showed mild left pelviectasis with a robust ureteral jet. A nuclear renogram at three months postoperatively demonstrated prompt drainage with Lasix. She is currently eight months out of surgery with no flank pain or infections. Robotic ureteroplasty with buccal mucosa graft into position is a promising technique that avoids the morbidity of ileal ureteral transposition or autotransplantation. This technique may be applied to repair of long structures of the proximal ureter. Further prospective study is ongoing. Buccal mucosa graft ureteroplasty is a feasible option for complex ureteral reconstruction and can be achieved in a minimally invasive fashion. Thank you.